Well, hello, Dark Fish Rally friends. How good is this? We are back in Mexico for the first time since 2020. Now, it has been three years. Have you forgotten what the stages look like? Well, I have. So what I'm going to do is take you and show you some of the stages that make up this year's Rally in Mexico. But we'll start with this here. Probably the most iconic start, the most iconic super special anywhere in rallying. That is where the ceremonial start is. The start line actually is right there. They then head into the tunnel. Should we go and have a look at the tunnel? I think we should. Let's go and see if anything's changed in there. They've come out of the square. They're into the tunnel. They've come down the hill. They're on these cobblestones. Now, what do we know about cobblestones? Well, over the years, these are ancient cobblestones. They get polished. Polished cobblestones with a little bit of damp on them get very slippery. Down the hill, accelerating and then breaking for the first, it's almost a 90 right down there. It gets slippery. You have to be careful of the buses when you're in here doing a piece to camera. But yeah, look at this. It does get wet. It does get damp in here. I, we have seen drivers having issues and you do not want to smack these curb stones because they're big, they're heavy, they're punishing. There's jeopardy in the tunnel. That is for sure. But it is a special stage, this one, isn't it? And it's very unique. And it is only, let's face it, 1.2 kilometers, two runnings, 2.4 kilometers of the rally. The rest of the rally out in the hills is where it gets really interesting. Well, we've come out of Guanajuato and we've come into the hills, not too far away from the city. This is where the bulk of the rally will run in these magnificent hills above Guanajuato and Leon. Quite high up, two and a half thousand meters this stage goes to. We're on El Chocolate. It's the opening stage on Friday morning. Now, we've heard from the drivers about the stage and they are concerned. They're concerned already about the conditions, about the potential jeopardy in the stage. Punctures, big rocks, suspension damage. This is a hairpin about three and a half k's in and you can see how the road is prepared. They put lots of gravel onto the road here. It's very, very soft though. Really enormously soft. Look at this. Just look how soft that is. What we've got in this gravel are an awful lot of big rocks. These little rocks, nah, they're nothing. They're nothing. The cars won't even feel them. But hidden within this loose stuff, and it will quickly begin to appear, are some very, very big rocks indeed. At the start of the stage, a couple of hairpins there. That will give you a better indication of just how rough it might get. But here's something that's really, really surprised me. Come this way, Elliot, cameraman. We're athletes. It is altitude. It does affect your breathing. Same as the cars, and for us, a little thinner air. Affects our athleticism. Look how damp this is. Just look how damp this is. Look at that. It's almost like clay-type mud in the stage here. Okay, look, we had a thunderstorm last night. It's been quite dewy this morning. Is that a word? Uh, there was quite a heavy dew this morning. I think this will dry up before tomorrow's stage. It's about 24 hours until the stage runs. It'll dry up, but not completely. Now, who's that going to benefit? If it's still a little bit damp, well, Oit Tanak, Cali Rovenpera, Thierry Neuville will love it if they come into this stage tomorrow and it's as damp as this. Well, we've come a little further into El Chocolate, round about 9 k's in. I have to say, it's been narrow, it's been tight, it's been gravelly up to this point. We then come across there and look at this, this big rock here, right in the middle of the road as we came along. Again, that's probably not a rock that's going to do any damage, but we don't want that in the road. We'll chuck that across there, but it gives you a good idea. Look how stony it is. Again, have a look here, Elliot. You can see how built up it is. And you can see from where it's been graded that there are stones, lots of little stones here. But the big thing is on the slower corners, as we come across the road, obviously that's the outside of the corner, underneath this tree, there is the potential for this to cut up really badly. There is the potential for there to be some very large rocks on the inside. This is a downhill section, won't be quite as bad as the uphill sections where they're scrabbling for grip, they're digging into the surface, they're exposing those enormous rocks that potentially can damage the suspension, potentially can give you punctures. It's an absolutely gorgeous but demanding stage, this one. El Chocolate, first stage, Friday morning, repeated again, then in the afternoon. It is the one that all the drivers are talking about, as you can see, heading there. We're not going down. I'd like to take you to that corner down there, but there are three or four dogs. I'm sure they're very friendly. They were very noisy. I'm taking no chances with them. But as you can see, it's gravelly. It's loose. There is plenty underneath that potentially could very, very quickly be exposed as the cars come through El Chocolate. 
So the vast majority of this year's running of Rally Mexico, well in the stages we've seen most of them in one form or another before, but there is something completely new this year. Las Dunas! If you were watching last year's Rally of Nations, you may well have seen this. Take a look at this. It's only 10 k's, 12 k's from the center of Leon. It's an active sand mine. Look at it, it looks like something from almost a Western, doesn't it? You could be in Utah or somewhere like that. Uh, but what's really, really interesting here is the surface. You can probably just make it out in the background. Last year, when we were here for the Rally of Nations, it was, as you would expect, very sandy, very, very dusty indeed. They've worked on it. They've put down a layer of gravel. For me, the interesting thing is how is the surface going to hold up four passes during the course of the weekend on this stage? It is utterly spectacular. From a spectator point of view, from a television point of view, it will look magnificent. Great job for the organizers, from the organizers, in putting this together. It's going to be something really, really special to watch this weekend on Rally Mexico. Thank you.